If you're newer to NoSQL databases and want to learn more about what they are, this video is for you. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Megan from MongoDB's Developer Relations team. Here at MongoDB, we talk a lot about NoSQL databases because that's what we are. But what does that even mean? NoSQL is technically an umbrella term for any alternative system to traditional SQL databases. NoSQL databases use a data model that has a different structure than the rows and columns table structure used with RDBMS. Now within NoSQL databases, there are actually four types, document databases, key value stores, column-oriented databases, and graph databases. Let's talk about each of these in a little more detail. First up, we've got document databases. A document database like MongoDB, for example, stores data in a JSON or BSON format. You can access, store, and retrieve documents from your database in a form that is much closer to the data objects used in applications. This means that less translation is required to use and access data in an application. Document databases are popular with developers because they offer the flexibility to rework their document structures as needed to better suit their applications. In SQL databases, however, intervention by database administrators may be required to change the structure of a database. Next, we have key value stores, and this is the simplest type of NoSQL database. Every element is stored as a key value pair, consisting of an attribute name, or the key, and a value. This database is like an RDBMS with two columns, the attribute name, such as state, and the value, such as Alaska. Third, we have column-oriented databases. While an RDBMS stores data in rows and reads it row by row, column-oriented databases are organized as a set of columns. When you want to run analytics on a small number of columns in a database, you can read those columns directly without consuming memory with unwanted data. Finally, we have graph databases. A graph database focuses on the relationship between data elements. Each element is contained as a node. The connections between elements in a database are called links or relationships. Connections are first-class elements of the database stored directly. These databases are diverse in their data formats and applications. Furthermore, systems store data in different ways. These differ from RDBMS in that they can be schema agnostic, which allows unstructured and semi-structured data in a network to be stored and processed. This was just the tip of the iceberg, and we've got a whole lot more where that came from. In the description below, we're leaving a few more links to other videos and articles that you might find helpful. If you're still here, it's because you found this video valuable, and we'd be very grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss our content, and we'll see you next time.